Okay, here is an examination, physical examination of a varicocele patient. Uh, first, we look to testis, and testis seems normal. And we look to blood flow of testis with uh, Doppler ultrasonography. And here the blood flow is normal. And after that, we, when we look around the testis, there are very big vessels. These are enlarged varicose veins, and we have to measure the largest vein, largest portion of the largest vein. Here, I put a mark and a second mark here, and it's 4.3 millimeters. In this patient's uh, Doppler ultrasonography, it was done in laying down position, and his uh, varicocele diameter was 3.6 at his uh, widest length but here and it was when he is strangulating here the patient is not strangulating he is in relaxed position but the vein is bigger this is not important for uh, large veins but it is important for moderate varicocele because in moderate varicocele sometimes when the Doppler ultrasonography is done in laying down position uh, it cannot be diagnosed as a serious varicocele uh, so the doctor says it is a moderate varicocele, you will not benefit from the operation and the operation is postponed. But if we do the uh, Doppler ultrasonography in standing up position, we can easily see the largest vein with a larger diameter. Here I want to make a color Doppler ultrasonography. When I make a color, uh, we have to ask the patient to cough or to strangulate. But here when he is standing up position, the colors come spontaneously. There is no strangulation, no coughing, no valsalva maneuver, but the blood vessels are filled with high amount of reflux. This is reflux. This patient's need operation. It is obvious the, uh, and we do the Doppler ultrasonic to every patient because in this patient I understand that there are uh, varicose veins around the testicle. So I will take this testis out in the operation and look for these veins and I will find them and take them out completely as a very long segment. Then I look to upper parts. I go up and climb and in, this is inguinal canal. In the inguinal channel I find that these veins come together and they are the diameter is even higher, even larger in this uh, section. So I will find this in the operation. The diameter is 4.7. It's very huge. Uh, in his radiology report, it is only 3.6. But he is in standing up position now and we can see the uh, veins more accurately. Now I put the patient in laying down position and the veins has gone. There is not big veins. They seem like normal. I am I'm looking around to test this. And the veins are moderate, not so big. Uh, a doctor may misdiagnose this as normal or moderate varicocele, but he has a huge varicocele, but the uh, examination must be done uh, when, the, when he's in standing up position. So here, okay, there is big veins, but not as, um, as uh, crowded as he's in standing up position. And when I take the Doppler ultrasonography, When he takes a deep breath, okay, the veins filled, relax. When he is normal position, they are empty. So the Doppler must be done in a standing up position. And one of the most important parts of varicocele examination with Doppler is to find out how many arteries there will be in the operation zone. Operation zone. Here I see three large arteries, uh, one on the top of each other. So I will be very cautious to find them. Also in the operation we use Doppler device, microvascular Doppler, but before the operation I want to know how many arteries I will find in the operation. So there is in a basal artery at the bottom now, it's not important, we don't touch to vas deferens, but two main arteries next to each other and one on the top, the top is maybe cremasteric artery, but we, have, we will find all of them 
and take care of these four arteries one on the top maybe cremasteric two main arteries and one vasal artery uh, these are very important we don't want to sacrifice any of these arteries because they are giving blood supply to testis if we cut one of them by mistake thinking that it's a vein the blood supply of, of the testis will decrease this is very important part of the operation